I'll tell you the story of Jonah. A really remarkable tale. A peaceful and humdrum existence he had. Till one day he went for a sail. The weather were grand when they started. But later a turn of the tide. The wind started blowing. The water got rough and Jonah felt funny inside. When the ship started pitching and tossing, he tried hard his feelings to smother. At last, he just leant his head over the side and one thing seemed to bring up another. When the sailors saw what he were doing, it gave them a bit of a jar. They didn't mind trippers enjoying themselves, but they thought this here were going too far. Said one, is there out you can think on to stop you from feeling so bad? And Jonah said, I lift me over the side and chuck me in. There's a good lad. The sailor were not one to argue. He said, and you know what's best. And he lifted Jonah up by the seat of his pants and chucked him in, as per request. A grampus came up at that moment, and seeing how feather had set, he swam to his side and he opened his mouth and he said, Come in, lad, out at wet. His manner were kindly and pleading as if to say RSVP. Said Jonah, I've eaten a kipper or two, but I never thought one would eat me. The inside of Grandpa surprised him. It was first time he'd been behind scenes. He found accommodation quite ample for one, though it smelt like a dish of sardines. Then over the sea they went cruising, and Jonah were filled with delight. With his eye to the blowhole in Grampus's head, he watched ships that pass in the night. I'm tired of watching, said Jonah. I will rest for a minute or so, said the Grampus. You won't find your bed very soft, he said. I've got a hard roll. At that moment up came a whale boat, and Jonah said, What's this here we've struck? They're after me blubber, the Grampus replied. The better old tight while I duck. The water came in through his blowhole and hit Jonah's face a real slosher. He said, Shut your blowhole, the grampus replied. I can't, lad, it wants a new washer. Jonah tried hard to bail out the water, but found all his efforts in vain for as fast as he emptied slops out through the gills, it came through the blowhole again. When it finished they came to the surface, Jonah took a look out and he saw they were stuck on a bit of a sandbank, one rod, pole or perch from the shore. Said the Grampus, we're in shallow water, I have brought you as far as I may. If you sit on the blowhole on top of me, Ed, I will spout you the rest of the way. So Jonah obeyed these instructions and the Grampus's lungs did expand and he sent out a fountain which lifted Jonah up and carried him safely to land. There were tears in their eyes when they parted, and each blew a kiss, a real big one. And Grampus went off with a swish of his tail, and Jonah 
Well, back go to weekend.